Hello there! Welcome to my August 2020 vlog where I sit here and talk about myself and what I did this month. So sit back, get ready for some crazy things. Not really, just normal basic things. <laughs> so as you can see I got this mic. I'm giving it a go, seeing if it sounds better. I don't really like the way it looks. If any of you guys have any experience with making videos or vlogs and you have any ideas on how to make the sound quality better, please let me know. Because a lot of times I do, let's say, videos here in my living room or in my kind of like downstairs, and it's really echoey in here because it's all tile. So I'm trying to remedy that. I don't really like this the way it looks, but I'm giving it a go for the first time. In previous vlogs, at least I want to say maybe the last two, I had kind of like the mic off screen. So, and the sound quality was okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right now my house is a complete disaster as far as it's all messy around here. And the reason for that is because I just painted my cabinets. I painted them white. So I had to empty everything out. And right now all that stuff is actually all over the place. So off screen, well, you know what? Who cares, dude? I do what I want, man. I'll freaking show you. Look at that, dude. It's all messy. Actually, you know what? I do what I want, dude. I'll freaking show you around. Let's see. Look at that tables all messy but oh look there's the cabinets they look pretty good right white i like it anyway so i'm going to um paint the walls too so you can see the walls now right now because those cabinets are white it actually makes the wall color look like kind of really ugly so now i gotta paint the wall well i was gonna paint the walls anyway so um i'm pretty sure i said this in previous vlogs but i'm 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 kind of remod i don't know if remodeling is the right word but i'm making my house look nicer that way if i decide to stay living here it just looks nicer for me or if i want to sell it then you know I can sell it at a higher price point, hopefully. This area actually right now that I'm in, this area, I'll show you something else too in case you guys wanna make videos, but um, you see this light here? I think it's called the soft light. It's pretty cheap. You can buy it on Amazon. You see that thing right there? That's actually my dishwasher. I'm getting a new dishwasher. Uh, and actually, you know what? I don't know if you can see, but right there there's towels on the ground. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say this thing what I do mm, yeah maybe I'll keep that to myself let's just say that that door right there you see that door I open that door and I let Sun come in and then I lay on that on that uh, those towels and I get some Sun some vitamin D you know what I mean okay so <laughs> I'm kind of getting off track here or am I or is this the right track I don't know okay so I do I do virtual training right in this space and I don't know if you saw those couches actually you know what's funny too I'm just gonna keep taking you everywhere I don't care I do what I want you see these chairs right here what the heck I'm trying to orient I don't even know okay yeah, these chairs and this this table here the chairs and tables actually belong to well they belong to me but lifetime lifetime well it's actually called lifetime but lifetime fitness they were getting rid of a bunch of stuff so they let me take them home for free so now i got lifetime stuff in my house but anyway right in this area this is where i do my my virtual training so i have clients and it's, it's like a facetime call pretty much and i just show them the exercises there in their house they have their weights and we work out together so i've been doing that I've also been training some people from my garage. You know, I never came out and said this, but I haven't gone back to Lifetime since uh, they opened back up. So I don't, I don't think I'm employed there anymore. It's kind of, I mean, I, I necessarily wouldn't mind going back because I like the atmosphere so much there. 
Uh, but I definitely want to change my schedule. That was the big thing for me. I just I was getting tired of just waking up so early. I would wake up around four o'clock, get to Lifetime like around five twenty, and set up for my classes. And just over time, that was kind of just weighing on me waking up so early. So if I do go back, and normally they don't allow this, it's either six to three or eleven to eight. But I kind of want like almost like a nine to five schedule so maybe if they let me do that I might consider going back primarily for the atmosphere is really what I want I've actually been training at a friend's gym called train anytime I've been I've only been going there once a week and the owner is actually one of my friends I've been friends with him since like seventh grade his name's Wes and he's been trying to get me to go to his gym for like 10 years now something like that but constantly, Paul, come here, you gotta come to my gym, you gotta come to my gym. So I finally decided to give it a go. And the primary reason why I'm there, because really I could just train people in my garage, I really don't need to be there, but um, the way it works there is you pay rent. So I'm part-time, so I can go on, I, I choose three days out of the week. So the three days that I've chosen are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the only day I really go is on Wednesday. So I'm really only there one, one day a week. So I pay $300 just to train some people on Wednesdays and that's about it. Um, I, I, my original plan was to go to train anytime and do virtual training like this, like what, you know, like I normally do. Oops. Um, but the reception was just really bad and it was just kind of awkward to set up. So I decided just to kind of scratch that. I wanted to at least try to go twice a week. I just want to try to get as much human interaction as I can. So one of the things that makes Train Anytime a lot different than other gyms is you can only be a member there if you have a personal trainer. So everyone that's in there has personal trainers. And one of the rules is they don't want you talking to anybody because it's kind of like you're trying to snake clients, which is totally cool, I get it. Like, I, I like going there because I like talking to the other trainers, but it's a little bit, it's, it's kind of like a, a big detractor for me that I can't just sit there and strike up conversations with random people because again, if I'm talking to somebody, that means that they have a, a trainer and then it could be, that could be misconstrued like I'm trying to take them away and trying to kind of snake them as a client. But anyway, so that's going, that's going pretty good. So far it's going well. You know, I got my virtual clients. I, I train people from the garage, like I said, and I'm going to train anytime. I say this almost every vlog, but I started this initially to kind of document what I'm eating and how my joints are feeling. So let me just go ahead and get into that. Um, my diet has been all over the place. I've been still eating a lot of cereal. I eat uh, shredded wheat with goat's milk. I've been eating a lot of fruit. I've been drinking a lot of infused water. I've been eating like ice cream. I've been eating pizza. I've been eating like healthy food, vegetables, and you know, Primarily, I consider my diet kind of like a flexitarian. I eat processed foods, but I also eat a lot of healthy foods. Um, so far, my joints are feeling good, and I don't think it's because my diet primarily. I think it's primarily because I've been sweating a lot, and I talked about that in my other vlog. I've been sweating with my workouts. It's just been straight up hot outside. I've kind of, got, I've kind of gotten away from the car saunas, but that's something I still want to do. When I lay out right here, like I was telling you guys about, just the sun on my body just makes me start sweating. So I think there's something to that. I think there's something to just sweating a lot, and I think there's something to the high quantity of just water that I'm drinking that's just making my joints feel great. Because for a long time there, I couldn't even lunge without my knees hurting. Just demonstrating basic exercises, my joints would hurt, but now my joints feel really good. So thank God for that. I've been going on walks with my dad. Him and I, we go on a walk uh, about once a, once a week and we either go to uh, Friedrich Park, we just went to Eisenhower Park. All right, we are here in Eisenhower Park. Wow, it's 100 degree or maybe <laughs> more than that. And I'm here with Paul Rezai. Yes, going for Walk, walk, walk. 
And that's pretty cool to walk with my dad, you know, get some exercise for myself and him, and we just kind of chit chat. Another thing that I've been doing with him is I started doing a Bible study with just him and I. I, Kind of a a really cool story. I I probably mentioned it in other videos or whatever. I kind of forget what I talk about, but interesting story on how that Bible study kind of came to be. Uh, I, I want to make a video about just that conversation with my dad about prayer and how we started doing this Bible study. So it's really cool. Um, hopefully he's getting something out of it. All we're doing is we just kind of do a Zoom call. Just uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Zoom. And then I just read from the book of uh, Luke from the Bible. And then we just kind of chit chat about it. So it's good for him. It's also good for me because I'm learning as well. I think that's it with this vlog. I'm going to cut it here. Maybe the last thing I'll say is I have some ideas for some videos and uh, it's just information and principles that I feel like have really helped myself and I feel like it can help a lot of other people. Um, But it deals with some kind of controversial ideas and I just want you guys to know it's okay if we disagree. You know what I mean? That's all right. Uh, I'm going to put out information there, and if you don't like it, feel free to educate me on why I'm wrong or whatever, and and we don't need to agree. We can still be friends. That's all good. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the surveys that I kind of posted. You guys probably don't know this, but a lot of people who do know me is I'm constantly like kind of doing these surveys, and I don't know what really constitutes like a true, real survey. If they're, I don't know what the criteria is. But typically what I do is I just walk around and I just talk to people and just ask them questions. Would you rather eat poop that tastes like ice cream or ice cream that tastes like poop? <laughs> and to them, they probably just think I'm just making conversation. But I'm just kind of getting a catalog. catalog and an inventory of what people think and why they think. I just find it interesting how we, we all think different things and how we come to conclusions in life. But anyway, I'm sure you guys have seen those, those surveys and some of you might be wondering why I do them and I'm just curious, just curious what people think and why. And I had somebody tell me that, I'm sure there's a lot of assumptions being made about what I think and why I'm doing the surveys. So, for example, I use an emoji system to kind of uh, determine what you vote. And I think people kind of misunderstood why I use those emojis. I use those emojis, like, for example, the angry one and the crying one, because those are less often used. Like, they're not used as often. And I don't want people just kind of liking and hearting my post and kind of skewing the data. So just know if I do any surveys and I use an emoji system, it's not, I'm not using those emojis to convey an emotion. I'm just using it to represent a vote. One of the things, I guess I'll just keep talking here since I'm on the subject, but one of the things that I thought was interesting is I posted, actually, you know what? I don't even want to say it because I'm, I'm afraid if I start talking about it, I'm just going to leave it at that. Anyway, that's it, guys. God bless you all. Peace.